Hello, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to our channel. Sleep. We all need it. A lot of us neglect it. And a lot of us have some interesting sleep habits. Some of us toss and turn in the night. Some of us are pure night owls. Some of us can't stop mysteriously waking up at 3 a.m. Something about that time gives me nightmares. Well, it would, I mean, if I was asleep. But did you know your sleep habits can tell a lot about you? Here are what your sleep habits say about you. Number one, you're a morning person. Have you ever wondered how being a morning person affects your intelligence? No? Okay, well, according to some studies, it can tell you a lot about your intelligence type. If you're starting to wonder now, morning people are more likely to get good grades in school than night owls, according to research studies on students in high school and college. Number two, you're a night owl. In the same study on high school and college students, night owls scored higher in general mental ability. This ability is linked to higher success in your career. So while you may not always get the best grades as compared to those morning people, you're still just as smart as them, perhaps just shown in different ways. Number three, you stay up late and deprive yourself of sleep. Staying up late again, binging another season of your favorite Netflix show, up into the wee hours of the night with another psych to go video and a bowl of popcorn. Are you microwaving said popcorn as we speak? Many who often go to sleep late at night are often seen as pessimistic. Why? With the unpredictable and disrupted sleep patterns, negative thoughts are bound to be, well, abound. Maybe you find yourself up so late at night imagining possible scenarios to your weekly conflicts or ruminating on the latest worries that plague your mind. Whatever it is that's keeping you up, worries or television, it's best to hit the hay and get your Z's by going to bed as early as possible. Lights out. Number four, you always wake up between three and 5 a.m. no matter what time you went to bed. Do you find yourself naturally waking up early in the morning? You look at your clock, 3 a.m., oh boy. Or maybe 5 a.m. is your lucky number. Well, this may have to do with your sleep drive. Part of our circadian rhythm, our sleep drive, grows as we go about our day. At night, it naturally goes down. If you find yourself waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. and don't know why, it may be that your sleep drive has been used up. If this becomes a common occurrence, it could mean you've developed a circadian disorder known as advanced sleep phase syndrome. Number five, when you don't set an alarm, you sleep for 14 hours at a time. Finding yourself sleeping more than the regular eight hours at a time Maybe you find you naturally sleep through your morning or half the day. Well, one reason could be hypothyroidism. This most often affects women over 60. This deficiency of thyroid hormones can disrupt one's heart rate, metabolism, and body temperature. The symptoms can include fatigue, weight gain, cold sensitivity, constipation, and dry skin. Another possible reason you're oversleeping? Your body could be responding to a latent infection. But if oversleeping becomes the norm, something else could be going on. Number six, you're tired every morning. Do you have this problem? No matter how many Z's you seem to get, you just can't help but wake up tired every morning. One reason could be depression. Depression often coexists with sleep problems. So if you're tired every morning, a mood disorder may be the reason. Another reason, you may just have sleep apnea. This sleep disorder can be serious and it affects your breathing during sleep. One's breathing repeatedly starts and stops when asleep with this disorder. Your sleep cycle is likely to be interrupted with all these interruptions in breathing. If you feel you may have sleep apnea, you're not alone. The disorder affects 30 million Americans. A good idea is to sleep on your back instead of your side. If the problem still persists, it's best to talk to your doctor. Number seven, you sleep longer than you're used to. Okay, so maybe you don't sleep for 14 hour stretches, but you have noticed you keep sleeping a little longer and longer every night. One study on adults 40 and older found that individuals who slept more than the regular eight hours at night were more likely to suffer from a stroke. Researchers from the University of Cambridge found the risk grew notably higher for those who used to sleep for shorter hours. They're unsure if this is a symptom of a problem or if the long hours of sleep are the cause of other health problems. Number eight, you often sleep on your side. Although further research is needed, sleeping on your side may help in circulating waste out of your brain and reduce the chance of getting Alzheimer's. Researchers at New York's Stony Brook University conducted experiments on rodents and found that sleeping on one side makes it easier for the body to circulate waste out of our precious brains. 
Many believe Alzheimer's is linked to brain waste buildup. And since sleeping on your side may help your brain circulate waste, doing so may lower your chances of developing neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Number nine, no matter how hard you try, you just can't fall asleep. Do you lie down in bed early in hopes of a good night's rest, only to find that you just can't fall asleep no matter what you do? Well, as suggested before, this may be due to worry, stress, or work. Philips Respironics conducted a worldwide survey and found that over half of their respondents reported that the main cause of their sleep problem was work or worrying over their finances. Maybe you can't stop thinking about what's worrying you lately, or maybe you're working through the night over hours. Whatever it is keeping you up at night, it's time to put it to bed so you can go to bed too. So which sleep habits can you relate to? What do they say about you? Share with us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.